Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about what I've learned since having my locks with my fine hair. And I know there's so many different opinions about locks, especially if you don't have a certain density. In particular, fine hair, I know I hear it all the time that certain people feel like you shouldn't start locks with fine hair, like it won't be as a beautiful journey as someone who has a thicker density type of hair. I just wanted to talk about my experience. I am no expert. I am just saying my opinions on my journey. So I know this could be wrong or this may not be for everyone who does have fine hair and who has locks and who is on a lock journey. I would say it's, it's looked down upon, I wanna say. When you have this type of texture, I don't know why because we all can't be the same. That's just would be a boring world. <laughs> You know, we all would look the same. We all had the same type of hair texture and everything like that. But I feel like when you have fine hair, you have to have a level of confidence with it because no, it may not perform as well or look a certain way as a thicker texture, but that definitely doesn't mean you can't have a successful journey. So one thing I would say I've learned so far is how often should you retwist when you have fine hair? Now, I hear so many different opinions about it and to each his own. I feel like it's something you definitely have to gauge on your own. But for me, with my fine hair, I find that I need to retwist more often. And I try to do the whole, let me wait eight weeks. <laughs> let me try to make it to two months. Let me try to make it to three months. But I find it to be more difficult. And I find that my hair doesn't perform as well when I try to prolong my retwist. Since my hair is fine, I find that it tangles more. When I try to prolong my retwist, it it also has a tendency to break sometimes. I feel like when I wait too long to, you know, do my retwist. Now, of course, I do have color, so I know that is damaging to my hair. But before I was coloring my hair, you know, all these different colors, I didn't notice, you know, at the beginning of my journey that when I was trying to wait a certain amount of time that my hair didn't necessarily like being retwisted, you know, waiting the two months or the almost three months, you know, time period. So I found that every four weeks works for me. Sometimes it's every three weeks. It depends on the month <laughs> and how I'm feeling. But I know some people even do every two weeks and I feel like that would be too much for me. But if it works for you, it works for you. I mean, you are on a journey, so it's just not the journey of, you know, your hair being in a certain way or a certain look like having locks. It is a process of you learning your hair. So on this journey, I've learned that my hair can only take so much of not being retwisted. So. Every four weeks works for me. Another thing I've noticed on my lock journey is the aging of your locks and how they look. Now, I've heard different things before starting my lock journey. I've heard that as time goes on, your locks may thicken. I've heard that. And I've heard that also your locks could thin out, you know, as they condense themselves, as they constrict, as they get tighter, you could end up with a smaller lock than what you anticipated. And I feel like on my journey, 
I'm noticing that they are not getting thicker in my opinion. They are condensing and getting smaller. Now, I know that me coloring my hair can contribute to that also. So that is probably also a factor. But I also feel like because I have fine hair, my hair is constricting and shrinking down. Now I know when I was a loose natural, it was kind of like, depending on what style I did, my hair either appeared a little thicker or it appeared thinner, you know? So now that it's in this lock state, I feel like, you know, I can't fluff it out. I, I don't have my individual strands to kind of camouflage here and there. I kind of have to work with whatever my locks are giving. And right now they're giving that they are shrinking in my opinion. So I know that could bother some people because maybe you're starting this journey or you're at the beginning of the journey and you want a particular look with your locks. But I've noticed that on my journey, that may go out the window because your locks may give you a completely different look, especially when you have fine hair because the strands are, are thinner, they're smaller, so they're not going to give super thickness. You know, they might because I've also seen it be the complete opposite and some people with fine hair, their hair does thicken up and it looks completely different from when they started. So. I say it depends on your hair texture. It depends on your journey. You know, what are you doing to your hair? So it can go either way. So another thing with having fine hair locks is volume. So of course now your strands are in these individual locks. So if you want volume with your hair, you're going to have to Curl them. So as you can see, one of my favorite styles to do on my hair is a braid out. And I love the braid out because it does give volume. And of course, when you are loose, you can do the same thing. I feel like it's the same type of concept when you have loose, you know, fine hair. Curly styles are a great way of giving you the volume that you may be missing but i feel like it it definitely makes a difference when you have locks because like i said my locks are condensing down they're shrinking down so i feel like when i do want a little bit more oomph when i want a little bit more volume the curlier styles the twists or the braid outs are what i usually go for to give me the volume that feel like I want at that time. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean I hate my hair being straight. I absolutely love my straight hair with my locks. You know, I like when my locks are straight, but I do like to switch it up and I do like the volume that it does give, the fullness that it, it looks when you do have some type of texture with your locks. And with that being said, I also feel like the number of locks when you have fine hair probably is an, an important thing to note also. Now, that also depends on what type of look are you going for with your locks. Now, I know some people love thicker locks, some people love medium locks, some people love smaller, micro, I get it. But, the number of locks when you have fine hair, I'm noticing it does matter because I have about 128 locks. And I feel like if I went, if, I feel like if I would have went under a hundred for me, I don't think I would have liked my hair journey if I would have selected to go under a hundred locks. Now, if I chose to have them thicker, maybe, yes. When you're choosing a smaller size, especially, I feel like the more locks you have, the better. So like I've said many times before, micro locks was what I was 
anticipating or wanting to get when I was thinking about my lock journey and starting it, but I just didn't have the patience to install that type of micro lock into my hair because I did the DIY method. I did start my journey on my own. I didn't have a professional help me. So probably if I ever thought to do my lock journey again, which I don't plan to stop it at this point or redo it, I'm happy where I'm at. But if I did go back in time and I did probably want to start it again, I feel like I probably would just go the micro route and add the extra locks in there. And I would like to see, you know, how that journey would have went, you know, if I were to do it again, maybe I would consider just going ahead and doing micros but of course i feel like i would definitely get it professionally done because i don't think i have the capacity to maintain that on my own and one of the last things i would say i've noticed on my lock journey is since it is a thinner density a finer texture with fine hair your hair is more sensitive. Now, I know that sounds silly because you have fine hair before you started your lock journey, so that's the obvious, you should already know that. But for some reason, I feel like when you start locks as a, and you have fine hair, I feel like that goes out the window a little bit because now you think, oh wow, you know, my hair is now grouped into these individual locks so it must be stronger at least that's what i thought i'm going to be honest <laughs> i don't know why i just assumed that my hair was like a superhero you know it just it can withstand anything at this point because now it's locked but to each his own i had to learn you know going on this journey that you can do things to your hair and of course if you don't see anything happening immediately it doesn't mean that it's not damaging or it's not sensitive because it is but now that it's locked I feel like over time things happen slowly so for me, if I colored my hair as a loose natural and I messed it up, I immediately see that, oh my God, I messed up my hair. I bleached it, I burnt it off, fine. You know, I'll cut it and regrow it back, I don't care. You know, I've done that many times as a loose natural, but I feel like when I got on this journey with my locks, I didn't see immediate damage, so I just automatically assumed, okay, I'm good, you know? But of course, if you've seen my last update, I'm noticing that, yeah, the color is now starting to show its, its skin or <laughs> its head, you know? And I'm now seeing that, okay, yeah, the damage is now showing up, you know? And I'm, what, almost three years in, you know? And... I think we have to be mindful with fine hair that even when we do start these lock journeys, our hair is still pretty sensitive because it is a thinner, finer texture. And you kind of can't forget that even though it seems like it's getting stronger, it looks like it's healthy, it looks like it's doing well. But you know, over time that may change and you just need to be aware of what you're using, what you're doing to it. And if you are coloring it, if that's the route you choose, the consequences of what could and could not happen. So of course, I'm on that journey now of learning those types of things, but I definitely feel like I, I definitely took advantage of what my hair could and could not handle with it being now locked and forgetting that, you know, I still have fine hair, so I can't do backflips and do all these types of things that I probably see other people with thicker textures do. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop coloring my hair. I've obviously chosen to still color it, but 
I'm now mindful of the damage. I'm mindful of what I'm doing. And, you know, it's definitely a choice from here on if I'm going to keep doing it or I'm going to stop. So I feel like I'm definitely going to keep coloring it, but I don't think I'm going to constantly bleach it or, you know, keep up the bleaching process like I thought I would. So that is pretty much it for the some of the things that I've learned on my life journey with having fine hair. Of course, there's probably more things than this that I haven't mentioned. And I just want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you, my fine hair kings and queens. I know that you are out there. You have subscribed to my channel. And I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm just going to be honest. My channel, you know, I'm, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to know everything. I'm just basically telling you what I've learned what I've seen with my own journey, the mistakes, the ups and downs. And I hope that inspires you in some type of way or it gives you an overall look of what someone's journey looks like with fun hair because I know we're out there, but I don't know if we are represented as much as someone with a thicker texture. So I know when I started my journey, I was looking for someone who had hair like me and you know, what do you do with it? How do you take care of it? You know, and not to say that watching someone with a thicker texture, you can't learn that either, but it does help you to see someone who's in your seat or who's in your footsteps, so to speak, who has that same type of texture because it is a different journey to work with. Those of you that do comment and tell me I've helped you or tell me you're happy that I'm making videos so you can see someone that's similar to your own texture. It's very encouraging because honestly, half the time I don't know what to post. <laughs> I don't know what to discuss or talk about, but I try to come on here and tell you what's happening, what's going on with my journey. Because not everybody takes the professional route, you know, not everybody decides to go to a loctician. And I feel like this is what it looks like on a journey when you decide to do it yourself. So is it possible? Yes. Is it a struggle? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's an up and down journey, but you can get through it and you're going to make a bunch of mistakes, you know. I don't post everything I do and I don't come on here perfect because I'm not perfect. I don't come on here and say that I'm I'm the end all be all and I know it all. I don't. I post things that probably are not up to certain people's standards of what you know styles or what the locks should look like on a fine hair lock journey, but this is my journey and represents me. So the fact that you all follow me for that, I really do appreciate your support. I really do appreciate your input, your comments, your admiration for my locks because you know, I didn't always love my hair. And definitely now that I've started this luck journey and I started it for spiritual reasons. I know not everybody starts it for that reason, but I now love my hair and appreciate it more. And to come on here and share it with you all is an experience. Sometimes I'm embarrassed. Sometimes I feel like things are not good enough, you know, but you all cheer me on in a way that helps me to keep going with this channel. I don't know where it's going. I feel like building a community like this is something that's needed. We all need representation of ourselves. And I know it's just hair, but you need to see someone who has something similar to you, especially when it comes to having fine hair, because you know, people make you believe that it's not good enough. It, it can't maintain certain things like a thicker texture can. And that may be true or not true, depending on 
who you are and your hair journey but anything is possible and if we all can encourage each other i feel like we can change the outlook on fine hair and make it something that everyone can appreciate so i hope you all enjoy this video and i thank you so much for watching take care bye guys Thank you.